Here we are with Attack on Titan Season 4 Episode 12, and yeah, last episode we saw Garby and Falco trying to escape. Um, but yeah, didn't work out quite so well so far, I would say. And yeah, surprisingly we saw like two characters from Season 1 and Season 2. One, the girl that Mikasa saved in Season 1, and two, the girl that Sasha saved in Season 2, I think. And... It's interesting to see, because I never expected that to happen, and those two characters, the girl that Mikasa saved, wants to become like Mikasa and joined the Survey Corps, I, Corp, I, I think, and is now, is now a soldier, and the other girl wants to be like Sasha, so cool to see, I would say. But yeah, this episode could be a bit more action-packed again, I guess, because... Male wants to maybe immediately attack instead of like waiting six months to like unite all the countries to go for a big scale attack and or maybe not we will see but yeah if you like what you see leave a like subscribe or comment let me know what you think and I would say let's get to the episode. Armin in front of any again. Who is this? Is this a girl that... Pitch? Yeah! <laughs> wow, we see her again too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He wants to see more of any, that's all. <laughs> I wonder if she can listen in that form. Oh man, it's been like years. I really, <clears throat> I really wonder if she will come out of the crystal at some point. I mean, she has to, right? If she just stays in the crystal for the rest of the series, that would be like, why? Right? Um, so we will see, I guess. Hey, he's not hiding it that he has a crush. <laughs> Yeah, the same happens again. <laughs> like before they overthrow the kingdom, I guess. Hey, one is tea posing. She wants just a quiet life, I guess. <laughs> New survey call. <laughs> but I guess the times where they die like flies are over, I guess. Maybe she gave him like a small push. Yeah, a small push. I mean, I don't know about me. So, I mean, it's, I guess she wouldn't really have to do much of manipulating, right? Because the thing is basically, Eren wants basically everyone to be safe. Eren always hated Titans. Eren always hated the Armor Titan, the Colossal Titan. Now that he knows where they come from, why they come and everything, he knows where his enemies are that threaten his peace, that kills his mother, Threaten all of his comrades and everyone that he loves and likes. And so <clears throat> he isn't as forgiving as other people. And I mean, we know that Aaron always was a bit mental, right? <laughs> I mean, as a kid, when he wanted to save Mikasa, he just went there and killed those guys. Like, cold-blooded, no... I mean, yes, he did the right thing, right? Because it was either... Him or Mikasa or the ba the bandit guys that wanted to sold sold off as uh, sold off um, Mikasa. So I don't blame him, but he never had remorse, right? He always was vicious, and so he isn't as forgiving as other people. And now he knows where the enemies lie and the enemies are. And if no one else makes the decision to protect everyone and to fight against the enemies, then sure as hell, if someone gives him a slight push, he will do it gladly. So I guess that's just what it what it came what it came about, right? What what happened, right? It's it's not that you need to manipulate him really, it's just give him a small push and 
he will go by himself, I guess. That's just Aaron. He's very aggressive. <laughs> this is really like split in the middle, right? There are those that love Aaron for what he did now. And there are those that are like, dude, that's too much. I would like to know what exactly she told Aaron. <laughs> and rewrite it down. The part where she said, I just wanted Aaron to know about me, make, I want to know why, what exactly. I would like more information, she got me curious. Dang. Makes sense, I guess. There has to be sacrifices. She fought against our military government to preserve the rights of Melancia. I'm a bit confused. Why did she why did she defend Melanes? When? They had like this small flashback when she, I guess they first arrived. I can't remember. Did the, did she really defend it, Malane's? At that point, I can't remember. Hmm. I don't know about that. Maybe he just feels like he has nothing to say to them because they don't share the same. Maybe because Aaron, maybe Aaron doesn't feel like he has to say anything to them because they clearly are not on the same path as he is, right? He wants to protect and wants the best for all the aliens, no matter what. Pretty much killing every everyone that is against them. And that's clearly not what they have here in mind, right? They are like, dude, Aaron, you're going too far. And so he maybe just feels like because of that, because they don't have the same determination on the same thing that he wants, that he maybe feels like, maybe I can't trust them, right? Maybe that's, or maybe he's like, yeah, I don't want to tell them anything because they don't have the same mindset. I mean, we will find out eventually. Mm -hmm. Is that the share he used on this one guy? With the toilet shit? <clears throat> I could imagine they try to free Aaron. And that's why he maybe isn't telling them anything. I mean... <clears throat> the thing is also, yes, they could give someone else the founding titan, right? Because they think Eren is not something, someone we can't control anymore. We don't know if he, if we can trust him even. Um, but Eren took a shit long time, a long ass time, to learn to control the titan and everything. It could take years for someone to be able to learn all of that. Because it took Aaron that long. It's not like that you can give someone like a guiding book, a guidebook, and be like, here, read that and you know how it works, right? It's not like you fucking start a PlayStation 5 or something. It's like, it takes like a while to learn that shit, right? But I mean... <clears throat> what the fuck? I mean, then again... If they can't trust Eren and they can't control Eren and Eren is clearly against them, then yeah, they have to give the Titan to someone else, right? Because if Eren keeps the Titan, it doesn't do anything good. Well, he's dead. Holy shit. What happened? Are those maybe... Was, was someone maybe on Eren's side and just suicided there? What's going on? And okay, that stirs the pot more. Justice for Aaron. 
Man, they are so on Aaron's side. <laughs> This is a rough situation, because every normal person that is not in the military is on Aaron's side. And even inside the military are some that are on Aaron's side. Hmm? エレンの情報を外に漏らして懲罰を受けた。エレンイエガが力をからだ。Everything <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. goes to shit basically. Oh ho oh, oh. I know that from the trailers like years ago or whatever when Aaron puts on the coat with like his open chest and everything, man he is jacked. Okay, so his people, like, that are in the survey, or in the military, and are on his side, freedom. Wow. <laughs> I wonder what the plan is. It's, it's, it's so crazy. Yep, that is... <laughs> <laughs> and I guess they want to free Zeke too. This is so crazy because, I mean, you are watching season 1 to 3, right? And everything is fine. They play all the same on the same side, all have the same path. And then at the end of season 3, you think like, okay. Aaron's like, yeah, look over there, over the seas, there's our enemy. And you think, okay, they will unite and work and go over there and try to maybe fight the others, right? That attack them. But now you get into season 4, start with the alien side, and now it turns out that Aaron is like completely doing his own thing, somewhat with Zeke in connection or whatever, and you don't know what's what anymore. You don't know why he's doing it, is he not trusting the others anymore? Is he man I don't think that he is manipulated, right? I think maybe, maybe, so what, something that would come to my mind right now is maybe he does it because Zeke was maybe like, here, if you want to protect the aliens, if you want to protect your friends, you have to do it yourself. Don't risk their life. Don't involve them. Do it yourself. You have the power to do it, right? With the founding titan and the royal blood and the rumbling, you can do it yourself. You don't have to risk others lives and so maybe that's why he's doing it himself and why he is not talking to anyone else because he wants to protect everyone as much as possible he needs allies so he has Flocken's other ones here but he doesn't want to threaten or involve the other ones that he likes that like his friends and stuff and so he goes on this path alone to kill everyone that is basically against them maybe that's the case i don't know but it's very like so weird and confusing that there's like no people that are on Aaron's side and people that are not uh, people that, that are not on Aaron's side and there are the Malayans and it's like all these conflicting strings mixed together and you don't know what is what who can be trusted who is good who is bad what's the plans and all that stuff it's crazy declassified information over 100 <laughs> The Jaegerist? <laughs> yep, I guess so. Threatening Eren's life. Because that's where Eren was. Exactly. You never know. Complete chaos. Exactly. Yeah, I don't know about his Historia. I mean, for what reason could he go to Historia? Good plan. And I mean, if, even if you go through all the people in the military and you really pinpoint all the ones that are on Aaron's side and kill them, which will be really hard, I guess. Um, there will still 
be mistrust, right? It will never be the same because they always will be suspicious of each other. Maybe there's still one left somewhere, maybe one. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's just everyone will mistrust each other and all that stuff is just complete shit fest, shit show. I mean, they basically did it to themselves, right? By trying to get a new per a new host. Who believes that? <笑>ガチャビッチ。ジナラシさえ成功すれば、と今しい目ぎつれの汚名が轟く始末となり果てました。ただ、ミカサ様の母君が残された一族の誇りまで失ったわけではございません。この国がどうだろうと、あなた様
and now the now Zachary died because the Jaegerists <laughs> killed him basically and all that stuff and it's kind of crazy that there are like some people in the military still that are on Aaron's side while some are not or many are not and you don't know who it is and now Pixels like you said it's like we have to forgive him basically and just look past it because otherwise it's just will end in many people dead and in a lot of blood because we will fight amongst each other so we have to forgive him and look past it for now and just try to well negotiate basically i guess and try to figure something out right that is like less bloody and less violent basically and it's just so much we don't know right it's like like i said zeke aaron yelen and everything else that is going on <sighs> it's just crazy and now we saw that peak is already here on the island so i guess reiner and the others are also already here so i guess next episode shit's maybe about to go down but yeah that's the episode. If you like what you saw, leave a like, subscribe, or comment. Let me know what you think. And I would say thanks for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.